here is just seemingly a normal toolbox, but if you look up close, you'll start to notice there's bits and pieces on it that shouldn't be on it. That's because this is a very high powered um, torch. Uh, for example, you may be able to hear fans going off because of how hot it gets. The original idea for this came from a guy on YouTube, his um, channel's called DIY Perks, he does a lot about light and sound and various other little things, he's extremely intelligent and very good at what he does, and I am not going to in any way try and show you how to build this, I will show you how I've built it, but if you want to build something that's bright like this, you go to his website, um, go to his YouTube channel. I will never be able to make a better video than he did. So, you know, his has dimmer switches and all that, but I wanted just a bog standard high powered torch. So I had a, um, a heat sink lying around. I had some fans lying around, uh, old PC fans. I had to buy the battery. Um, down here is a, um, a voltage booster. It boosts any voltage from, I think it's 3 volts to 35 volts. Um, this is an 11.7 um, LiPo battery. So I, it's plugged into the um, power amplifier and that takes it up to the 35 volts that the 100 watt LED needs. Now, this LED gets extremely hot very, very quickly. So what happens is um, it's connected to the heat sink via a, an uh, adhesive pad, you know, a heat, heat resistant adhesive pad, and that disperses the heat through the heat sink and the fans draw cold air in through this here into the actual box and then this fan here sucks away the um, the hot air from the actual heat sink. It's very uh, a very simple circuit. The pl um, the switch is connected to the power of the battery. When the switch is on, the battery is turned on. And when it is off, the um, it cuts the power to the battery. That goes into the uh, power amplifier. So the the sorry the battery is connected to the fans. Um, straight straight forward and then the um, power amplifier is connected to the LED so what happens is you press the switch and it allows power to go to the fans and then to the power amplifier to the um, LED I also bought a very very cheap um, battery tester it clips in I haven't put it in at the moment uh, shall I put it in no and basically it tells you what the power to each of the cells inside the lipo battery is like um, and gives um, an alarm when it gets too low. You don't want your LiPo batteries going too low because sometimes they won't charge. They're not cheap, but they should last you a decent amount of time if you look after them properly. Um, so that will be connected in when I'm actually using it properly. But what I did was as well is I made it so there's enough space in here now to be able to have a small toolbox. So I've got a um, some plastic sheeting that I'm going to put in here just to segment I'm going to get, leave enough space for so that the fan can still circulate the air and everything but just for things like a knife a couple of screwdrivers that kind of thing so when I'm out and about I've got a small toolbox with me and a, a light and the good thing about this is this will light up a huge amount um, at the moment um, at the moment it's got a box standard lens on it um, which sort of directs the beam I might take this off because without that on there it's a huge wide spread beam and for example it will light a large amount up when it's like this it still lights up a large amount but it it, um, it collects the beam in one sort of area uh, as I say, go on to DIY Perks if you want to know properly how to make this and how to make it with dimmer switch and so on. He is very articulate, a lot more articulate than I am, and he will talk you through how to make this. This is just my version of what he made. 
and um, I'll show you in a minute you know what sort of lighting up it does compared to normal um, a normal torch I've got and you can see for yourself if it's worth building um, the entire thing um, as I said cost about ten pounds um, I'll have a link to all the bits and pieces in the description but the most expensive part were the lipo batteries but I got two of these for I think it was seventeen pounds which you know it's not a bad price and it means that I've got either a spare one for this or I can use it for another project which I'm actually working on at the moment which should be ready in a few months and you'll be able to see something that I'm quite well hopefully if it works I'm going to be quite proud of and I think you'll enjoy watching anyway let's go and have a look at how much light it gives off Okay, as you can see, it's a very, very bright torch, and I would highly advise making one of these. Um, there are plenty of different ways of making it. I made it in a toolbox just so that I can actually carry some tools around and the torch at the same time. There are plenty of different things you could do with it. Um, basically, whatever you need it for, you think around that topic, you know. If, for example, you want it for doing night fishing, then connect it to your fishing tackle box, you know, make it as waterproof as possible. But as long as you're not going to be going in the water, it should be fine, you know. But anyway, it's up to you. You do what you like. Um, leave any comments or questions in the comment section. Like and thumbs up, please. And if you've got any questions at all, you know, I, I'll happily draw out a diagram of, you know, the, the circuit or whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.